this is the picture I took when I was at my lowest uh, I thought it was another failed attempt I couldn't feel any worse I had to sit there for about half an hour away from the lads I'm not gonna lie did have a cry thinking I'd failed again and let everyone down I uh, spoke to the wife she told me not to give up uh, so I had plenty of rest plenty of ibuprofen uh, between Paul and Mooster they got me to Shap also got me to Spoons in Keswick for an all day breakfast while Adam was walking the gruelling walk from Patterdale to Shap but yeah I had plenty of rest and I was I wouldn't say I was fully recovered but I was ready to go again right guys we've just left Shap we spent the night in the little camping pods at the Crown Inn uh, as always the host Sharon and Mark absolutely spot on I was laughing in the bar last night yeah cracking little stop but uh, obviously I didn't do any walking yesterday feeling a lot better today so our target is 20 miles Kirby Stevens so we've got rolling hills uh, once we get over the M6 we've officially left the Lake District but yeah feeling all right Adam how are you feeling <clears throat> pardon me good good achy feet I woke up about four o'clock this morning in that pod and my back was stiff as a board and I thought oh no got up and went to the toilet could hardly walk I thought oh no but got back to sleep till about quarter to half past six I say and surprisingly my back and legs felt okay just a bit of achy feet spirits are high that's the main thing and I know we've got a bed waiting for us at the end of this 20 miles well kind of a bed and uh, it's a little things that, that make you happy so yeah let's rock and roll let's get over M6 and live the dream mate four, four five miles in maybe going is going good speed get set a good pace uh, not much really to look at it's a lot of uh, low lying mist but it's making hiking in these conditions a little bit easier because we're not sweating our tits off but yeah we've not seen a soul I think we've seen a bloke earlier talking to him for about five minutes while he was walking his dog but by having that I don't think we've seen anyone else uh, You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> you nearly decked it. <laughs> nearly decked it. It'd have been good on camera. Should have just went with it. <laughs> right, we just stumbled across this building. It was owned by Frankenstein back in 1862, but then sold it to the estate. That's enough history for this lesson. Uh, we're about. About a mile and a half, I think, from some big and farm, which is our half point for the day. It's about half ten. We've taken on some water and some Harry Bows and some squishies. Get some sugar in the, the body. But yeah, smashing the miles today. It's got a unique beauty, these rolling hills. But they're definitely kinder on the feet than the the fells. So yeah, it's been an enjoyable morning so far. Just a shame that we won't be getting a a fresh cake or a nice cold can from uh, some big and farm honesty box. But we'll get Kirby Stevens. We'll definitely get something cold from there. Such a shame. <laughs> That we can't stop for refreshments or but we have been greeted by little doggy. Hello. Hello. So yep, yeah, this is our halfway point, ten point five miles I think. So yeah, another ten and we should be 
from Kirby Stevens, which means we've done 15 mile in three hours. Five hours. Five hours. Yeah, absolutely smashing the pace. So we've got about five more mile before we hit Kirby Stephen. And then uh, I think we'll be seeing the viaduct pretty, pretty shortly, I think a couple of miles down the road. So yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to getting Kirby Stephen. Should be sometime just after two. We can't check in till two, so timing's going to be absolutely perfect. Right, guys, we are fast approaching Kirby Stevens. Just start to see civilization. See your houses. And if memory serves me right, we head through straight down, and then we via right for about 10 minutes well, till we hit our campsite for the night, which is Pennine View, where we're booked in. and bit of luxury tonight we've got a little camping pod fridge kettle toaster microwave uh, but I'm looking forward to having a nice shower that has this been a long day hopefully get some clothes washed get them dried out tomorrow we're off to Keld which is about 11 mile so we're not planning on leaving too early but yeah lads ladies day five complete adam is packed oh man but we've got a oh. cracking little setup in here oh you what oh. Yeah. very push but yeah, we shall be uh, enjoying these facilities. We've got a bar on site, kitchen area, toilets, showers, drying room. We're definitely going to make the most of this uh, facilities. Six of the course to course. Just gonna have just finishing my cup of tea. Uh, I'm honestly gonna be sad to see the back of this place. I could have stayed for another week. Uh, we had a good night's sleep. We had some, I'd say, probably the best food I've had on the trip so far. Dirty fries and a cheeseburger. Absolutely banging. This site is amazing. So, anyone in the future doing the course to course, recommend getting in here. Cracking facilities, food, drink on site, little uh, shop at reception, pick up a couple of amenities. So, really, if you need medication or anything like that, you don't really need to leave site. And if you've just done shop to here, you don't want to be doing a lot of walking, and everything's literally here. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Today the plan is we're going to be trying to get a Keld, which is only 10 mile, but uh, we're going to, just after 7 now, so we're going to head out, try and get some breakfast somewhere, get ourselves to Keld, and hopefully tonight we'll be uh, wild camping next to a waterfall. So yeah, we just got a little bench right next to the river while we took in a web buddy yeah we stopped off in Kirby Stevens a little bakery get a bre breakfast buddy I've got sausage and mayonnaise uh, before we set off on our venture today we'll be heading up nine standards round by the quarry then up nine standards and then hopefully we can tackle this bog we did get advice yesterday while we were in Shap that 
it's not as boggy as everyone makes out so yeah then we're over over to Keld where we're planning on wild camping by a waterfall we'll be joined by young Josh who's uh, in Kirby Stevens last night in a hostel it was planned on meeting up for a, a beer but uh, yeah after 20 miles it was a bit of a trek between the two sites that we were on and we will be joined by the man himself Mooster so he's going to meet us in Keld uh, and I think he's bringing us a Wayfarer's breakfast for in the morning so that'll be appreciated but yeah looking forward to today it's not going to be as strenuous as yesterday but well not as long anyway it might be stretchuous getting up nine standards but I'm going to tuck into this great start of the day guys we're a couple of mile in now we're just going past the limestone quarry uh, visibility oh, over the tops isn't great so I don't think we'll be able to see nine standards so we get a bit closer it's going all right at the minute we're on a nice road slight incline but yeah And just on the top up there is nine standards. I think of uh, the height of 690 meters. I think the highest point is. We just stop to take take some water in. Then we're going to have a slow push up. We get a nine standards. Hopefully, by the time we get up there, the clag clears, so we get a bit of a view. Coming up, I thought there with the nine standards of what we'd done it, it was easy. How wrong I was. <laughs> but it's just starting to clear on the top there, so we might get good views when we get the top. Yeah, guys, finally made it up to uh, the nine standards. Obviously, steeped in mystery and speculation what these are for so I'm going to add my take on them I reckon Walt Disney's got something to do with them these are Snow White there's Snow White there's the Seven Dwarfs and then over there is the Wicked Witch that's my take so Dopey, Doc Happy, Grumpy over there but yeah we're just planning our next route down more importantly, do you know any more of the Seven Dwarfs? No. Who did you get? Dopey, Sleepy, Doc, Grumpy, Bashful. Bashful. Uh, Rudolph. Rudolph. Dasher. Dasher. Prancer. Prancer. <laughs> we'll shit them. <laughs> right, guys, I think we've tackled the worst of the bog coming down from nine standards. We're just on the path, I believe, on the way to... Raven Seat Farm, which has not open anymore. Uh, we took the path, August to December path, even though it's only May. So don't do what we do because we are professional idiots. <laughs> so we're just going to have a break now, 20 minutes, half an hour. Get some weight off our feet, replenish with some fluids. Maybe get a snack or something. Oh, catching a bit. I would jump, but uh, I don't want to. Yeah, we're not. We are pretty close to Keld now. I think it's just round the corner, but we have got a little spot planned. Just go for a little break down this road might even dip our feet but uh, yeah that was a grueler absolute grueler tough on the feet the bogs were tricky slowed our pace down but we've cracked about nine mile nine ten mile eleven mile day yeah done ten mile got about a mile left if if not a bit less before we get killed but yeah we've absolutely smashed it
what an absolute beautiful little spot this is. Not gonna lie, I am tempted to go for a little dip. The only thing putting me off is a leopard skin fungs at the bottom of the bag. And that's not looking too pretty there. But like I say, we're gonna be camping near a waterfall tonight. So there'll be plans to get the leopard skin fong on there and get in there. Might have to just paddle. <laughs> but yeah, we're about half a, half a mile from Keld. Open the pub's open. If not, I think there's a tea room or a takeaway, so we'll get a refreshing beverage while we get there. Dan, this is what I was thinking, right? About seven year old, looks about seven year old, you can believe in Santa Claus, can't you? Yeah. Roughly about seven. And we've got about seven minutes to go to get there. Roughly. So if you can believe in yourself, if you can believe in Santa Claus for seven years, you can believe in yourself for the next goddamn seven minutes. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Subscribe to this man. What a little spot this is. Keld Green Cafe. Stop here for ice cream, cold drinks, and rabbit as well. Welsh rabbits. Welsh rare, uh, look at your rare, rare, rare rabbit. Well, yeah, fantastic. Uh, we're just going to head into Keld now, find a little spot for tonight. We are at East Guildhall. Yeah, guys, this is the East Gill Force. Me, Adam, Mooster. Josh has been in for a dip as well. I've been in for a dip. That is refreshing. The plan is, I think we're going to try and wild camp here tonight. There is a path up to the top there. And then there's a path there. But what a little spot this is. Uh, yeah, what a refreshing dip. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, we're just going to chill for the time being and uh, just have a laugh, catch up with the lads. So, yeah, there, I'm on a slight pitch, but that's my view from my tent. Rooster's there, Craig the one-legged wanderer's there, Adam's there, Josh is there, so yeah. Uh, I've had my tea, time is now. Twenty to nine, so I'll be shocked if there's anyone out. We have been told the farmer flies about on his quad all night so we might get moved on we get moved on we get moved on but yeah i think i've got a cracking little pitch here uh, yeah tomorrow just got a 10 mile to reef but i'll pass this up there and we're taking the low route to reef but there's meant to be some cracking little views so look forward to that so yeah, I'm going to sign out for the end of this one, but yeah, hope you're enjoying the course of course as much as I am, <laughs> and uh, that's your on Kelt to Reef. <laughs>